Ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt your regularly scheduled programming to bring you this special bulletin. Diversity, inclusion, and equity, DIE hiring practices. It's a bit of a hot topic right now across the entertainment industry. People have their opinions, their ideas of what DIE actually stands for, what it actually means. But could we all be wrong? Well, we have someone who attempts to justify, maybe perhaps explain what it all means. No rest for the wicked game designer. Guess we get to add somebody else to the list. Alexander Brazi. Brazi or Brazi? What would you think? Attempts to justify D-I-E. Got to say it correctly. Come on, John. Get with the program. Hiring practices. Oh, this is going to be an adventure. Uh, game designer for No Rest for the Wicked and the owner of At Atomic? Atomic? Atomic. Consulting. This is becoming, this is consulting company. That's going to become a dirty word, just like all the other buzzwords out there. Oh, justify DIE hiring practices by lying about them. John, how can you accuse someone of lying like that? Surely you have a reason. I'm sure you do. As reported by Packer Girl, Brazi commented, commented, commented on a post from War Dog Studio CEO Jade Law stating, quote, let's have an honest conversation about DIE hiring. The problem there is that there's nothing honest about DIE hiring. It is discriminatory from beginning to end. There is nothing fair, honest, or justifiable about equity. The word that needs to be in there is equality, all things equal. When all things are equal, you hire the person who is best and most qualified for the job, regardless of who they look, what they look like, who they want to go to bed with, what they call themselves when they wake up in the morning. None of that matters, only their skill, their experience, their knowledge. But that doesn't seem to be the case when it comes to equity hiring. Uh, not to be confused with the diverse content, which is not something that gamers even give a rat's ass about. We don't care about diverse content. We care about quality content. People don't seem to really understand these policies, so let's discuss. Oh, good old Brazy. Educate us, please. She then defined what she means by D.I.E., albeit her definition is not how major corporations such as the Walt Disney Company and Amazon define it. Nevertheless, she defines in writing, D.I.E. policies are aimed to promote fairness. Absolutely not. There is nothing about the D.I.E. policies, hiring policies, practices, or whatever, that promote any sort of fairness encouraging the hiring and advancement of underrepresented groups. If your group is underrepresented, then perhaps your group isn't exactly interested in getting into the field that they are hiring for. Or it could be a simple matter of get good scrub. Get better at your field. And maybe you'll be more, oh, appealing in, during the hiring process. Get some more experience under your belt instead of being hired for such a superficial reason as the color of your skin. I can't imagine simply being hired because of what I look like. How, how can you be proud of that? DIA policies, I read that already. They typically do not mandate hiring quotas. Bullshit, and we all know that. And specify that individuals must be hired on the basis or specify that individuals must be hired on the basis of their race or gender. Some companies might set voluntary goals, which is called a quota, to hire underrepresented groups as a means to address historical discrimination. Again, I go back to the simple thing, meritocracy. It needs to be a thing again. How do you justify hiring someone who is absolute dog shit at their job, whether it is storytelling, programming, Speaking of only the entertainment industry, across all industries, this is happening and it's absolutely terrifying. Would you like to have DIE hiring practices when it comes to, I don't know, airplane mechanic, surgeon, anesthesiologist? I don't, I, I don't, I don't think so. Why? No, no, thank you. I'll pass on that. <laughs> As you can see, she contradicts herself, noting there is no quotas and then admits there are indeed quotas. Of course, there are quotas. The Oscars had quotas. That was going around all over the place. You won't be eligible for movie of the year at the Oscars unless you fill up 
these quotas unless you check off each one of these boxes. And if you think that's not the case in, I guess, a vast majority of the big name studios out there, whether it's TV, comics, movies, video games, huh, I have some bad news for you. Law continued, diversity can mean a lot of things. Uh, it, it means a forced checkbox hiring practices and it's nonsense. Get away with it. It's not just race or gender, but class, background, experience, and neurodivergence? What? So, you, you need someone... <laughs> So, are you trying to tell me that you should be hiring someone who's bipolar onto your team? Or, okay, um, there are pros and cons to hiring someone who has ADHD or someone who is actually, actually autistic instead of just internet autistic. There are pros and cons to that, and you need to understand that before you go hiring someone that fills off the neurodivergent checkbox. There are particular clues, particular ways to speak and to, they're, they're actually probably particular positions to put someone who has autism. Perhaps maybe don't have them dealing with customers all the time. Perhaps you have them with inventory. I know, I've been, you know, or someone with ADHD, like in my case. Give them deadlines that would be, I don't know, unreasonable for a non-neurodivergent, neurotypical individual. Whereas someone like me would go, ha, I'll get that done in half the time. Oh, you give me two days? You'll give a regular person five days. You give me two days, I'll finish it by 7 a.m. Yeah, I wish that wasn't the case, but yeah, high school. Anyway. Oh my goodness. So you want to hire someone, a neurodivergent individual. I'm going off on a tangent here again. Let's move on. <clears throat> Just to check a box. That is the... That's probably the dumbest thing. Anyway, I've always said I personally place a large value in, in neurodivergence and diversity of thought. Oh, you a big fat liar. That is, the, that's, that is the aspect of diversity that none of these companies are hiring for or welcoming in is diversity of thought. After claiming it's not about race or sex, lie, she would then confirm that's exactly what it is. Oh, I don't quote. I don't agree with hiring anyone other than the perfect person for the job, regardless of gender or sex or race. But guess what? Turns out that often means hiring a woman or a person of color these days. Wow. Contradict yourself in one single statement. Yeah. Okay. You got me there, John. That's a bold-faced lie. If you're on art Twitter, you know it's highly competitive, and the number one thing people say is portfolio is all that matters. Correct. If, it's, if that's not meritocracy, I don't know what is. Yes, portfolio, but unfortunately, that's not the case when it comes to DIE hiring. The first thing they look at is, what is the color of your skin? Oh, you're white, you're out. Oh, you're black, okay, what's next? You're a man? Nope, you're out. That is just what's happening. It's being proven over and over, time and time again, and it just seems to be the acceptable thing to do because it's a preference, right? It's not discrimination. It's not bigotry. It's not racism. Unless, of course, the person doing those preferential hiring practices has a lighter amount of melanin content. Ah. <sighs> Despite the numerous contradictions and obvious lies already, Law then attempted to justify why these racial and gender quotas are now mainstream. Um, it's real easy. It's because of, I don't know, what's the word? ESG money out there from these massive large investors. And eventually that money is going to run out. So what's the reason? I think it's running out already. What could possibly be the reason? I don't know. Actual racism, actual big bigotry instead of, you know, what they call racism and bigotry, where you criticize a black character on the screen because they're written poorly, they're acted poorly, but obviously you don't like them because they're black. Huh. One of the big reasons is how accessible the industry is now. Yes, it's easier and easier every day now for anyone to get into the entertainment industry. I mean, look at me, I'm an idiot. You can literally find all the resources you need to learn art and even programming online for free. Correct. So why are we still having these DIE hiring practices? Why is that still an issue? Why can't we go strictly to merit? Get away 100%, full stop, get away from the checkbox hiring. 
The you must have this number of women on your team. You must have this number of black and brown people on your team. No. How about we just start hiring yet again the best person for the job? If it's so easy, which it is, if it's so easy to learn to do all these things, to master your craft, why are we still dealing with these wonderful discriminatory hiring practices? The industry is wonderful for social mobility. I think, I personally think that's a great thing as breaking through class, breaking through class barriers is something I'd love to see more working class people achieve. Ah, yeah. <clears throat> this does not explain why DIE D -I -E hiring has racial and gender quotas. Of course not. It doesn't. And they're never going to explain it because, well, they have their marching orders. The NPC download has come through and they must quote verbatim the scripts. It does not appear to have anything to do with DIE hiring at all. From there, Law goes on to reiterate much of what she already posted, the hypocrisies and contradictions included. Ah, uh, let's see. Honest conversation about DIE hiring. People seem to be really, team to, oh, people don't seem to really understand these policies. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. <clears throat> it's a checkbox. You need a particular demographic on your team or else. Hmm. Brazy responded to the post. Yes, it would help if people understood. Uh, people understood quite clearly. And what ends up happening, much like in the television industry, the movie industry, what's happening in the video game industry is that all these consulting companies, to quote, oh, the lovely Kim Belair, take... These consulting companies come in and say, take the marketing department to coffee, take them out to coffee, take them out to lunch, and terrify them of what might happen if you do not agree to their suggestions, right? They're not demands. They're not forcing anything on anybody. They're not forcing their ideas and their changes on any of these development companies. They're just suggestions. Effective DIE is about helping people who historically didn't have a network to get eyes onto their work have a chance due to their equal skill. This entire statement is an absolute steaming pile of Triceratops shite because the vast reach of social media is to the point where it doesn't matter where you live. If you become good at your trade, hone your skills to become the best that you can be, you can get your work out there with a click of a mouse button. It is entirely too easy. It is no longer necessary to have these hiring practices. There's no such thing as not having a network. If you don't have a network, to get eyes onto your work, that is your own fault. Social media, whether it's YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, X, whatever you want to call it, Facebook, Rumble, all these different platforms out there, there is a laundry list of outlets, of network possibilities out there to get your work out there to the masses. There's no excuse anymore other than you're just not trying hard enough. So this idea, historically, well, we live in the present day. Historically doesn't mean anything anymore. We're going to move past that because that's what you do. You move past what's happened in the past. That's why it's called the past. Hmm. Like Law Brizzi's short post contradicts itself. If, if effective DIE was truly about merit, then you would not have racial and gender quotas in the first place. Clearly, DIE calculates in race and sex over other factors. And when those factors are ahead of everything else, especially merit, especially story, especially character, then whatever project you are working on is doomed to fail. Dead on arrival, no ifs, ands, or buts, but it looks like, well, in this case, someone who seems to want to educate the masses on how wrong they are about the wonderful DIE hiring practices, even though we know exactly what the fuck's going on behind the scenes. No rest for the wicked game. I guess we'll just go ahead and... I wonder if Cabrutus has added that to the list yet. But let me know what you think in the comments. Leave a like, leave a dislike. Do all those nifty little things as YouTubers beg you to do, and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye-bye.